hello everybody so this video is to talk about why i will not ever be probably most likely <laughs> selling on um thread up ever again so i sent thread up about 18 things they sold about eight eight to ten um i meant to i looked at it but i now i can't remember i should have wrote it down it's in my phone so that doesn't help me since i'm filming with my phone um but I did not, I just felt like they were not very upfront with how the process worked. I've never done this before. I didn't know that you could go in and change the amounts the items were listed for. That would have been really helpful. Um, I found that out later because I was like, what? It's super cheap. And then I guess when I went in, I was playing around with the app. Then I realized you could do that. So before I could even look at and figure out, they didn't tell me that they had everything listed. And stuff had already sold for way cheaper than I would have sold it for way cheaper. And it's just weird how like each item had different amounts of time. They would tell you to like, you only have 10 days left on this item. Sorry, I have something stuck to my eyelash. Um, and when all was said and done, a bunch of uh, anthropology tank top, I got like $2 for I mean, that's one of the highest selling brands on Poshmark. Why? $2. There was, there was nothing wrong with it. So I was a little frustrated with that. And it sold before I could, you know, change the, that was one of the first things that sold. Of course, they had it lifted, listed for like $12 or something stupid like that. Um, and, you know, if you want your stuff back, I still didn't get whatever that is stuck to my eyelash. If you want your stuff back... They, um, you have to pay for like the shipping. And so with the eight things that sold, I got a whole whopping $39 and I got this sweater, which was like 30 and then the $9 went to, which this is a good brand. I think it's like Bobo, B-O-B-E-A-U, I think it is. It's like a, uh, Nordstrom, Nordstrom brand. Um, but I had to pay to get all my stuff shipped back to me and I got this sweater. So 30 bucks for 10 things, which you can make a lot more money on Poshmark. I'm sorry. You just can. I, I can make five to t $10 per item on Poshmark. And yes, that was stuff that wasn't selling, but I, I'm just not convinced that it wouldn't sell eventually. And it was a little annoying, but I mean, live and learn and yeah, probably won't be doing that again. And their prices are super high. Like if you look to shop on there, it's like, holy crap, like 60 bucks for Ling Bryant shirt when you can buy them on Poshmark for like 15. So I just, I won't be doing it. I wasn't, I guess I was impressed with how fast they got everything taken pictures of and loaded, but yeah, they probably have a shit ton of employees. And I've heard so many bad things about the thread up boxes that people bought and like how shitty all this stuff was in it. Um, but I was just frustrated out of everything in my box. They sent me two things back right away, which there was nothing wrong with those two things. They were just odd brands that I'd never heard of before. But when you look them up, they retail for a decent amount, but they just sent them back with no reason why. I don't know why. And then the other things you have like a certain amount of time to, um, claim your item back. And so I just claimed everything was like, I'm done because there was only like five five to ten days left on a few things and I'm like I'm just not gonna accidentally knowing me I'll accidentally forget about it and then I won't I'll lose it and I won't be able to claim it I, I'm assuming you won't be able to claim it once you get past the claim date and so I just was like eh, I'm just gonna get a sweater and like literally I had wanted this sweater for super long um but I didn't have enough money and credit to buy it so I just waited and waited and waited and one more thing finally sold and then I had enough to buy back my own shit for the shipping and buy this and I'm done. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good. I got a sweater out of the deal, but not doing that again. Just relisting those items. So there's my why I will never sell or buy with Thread Up again.